Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York, now investigative journalist, wiping out corruption, helping you, helping you people at the DSNY, helping people in city agencies across the city, wiping out corruption. So this is going to be, this is kind of uh, interesting. Um, this one is about religion, religious discrimination in the workplace, religious discrimination as a policy within city agencies. Now, the Department of Sanitation is one of many city agencies in the city of New York, and they have a policy of religious discrimination. Now you're saying, come on, Conti, what's, what's, what are you talking about, religious discrimination? If you remember a while ago, I did a uh, piece on um, the, the, the fact that uh, the Department of Sanitation doesn't write uh, summons as violations to churches. For, for example, if the if the front of the church is a mess, uh, they they won't write uh, tickets, even if a, a violation exists. But when it comes to a synagogue or a you know a, a, a Muslim mosque or a Buddhist temple, well, that's not a church. It's not a church. Is it a church? I asked the question in the class. Do we write? You know, is it religious institutions or it's churches? They looked at me like I had four heads. So they're talking about churches. They're talking about Christianity. That's the religion. Christian religion. What don't you understand? So 98% of the people at the SNY are Christian. They're Catholic. You know, they're, you know, Presbyterian. I, I don't know. But it's all the same, right? It's pretty much all falls into the category of Christianity. So... So um, one of one of the agents at uh, DSNY. So that's that's the policy on a on a bigger picture. But what about employees? What about employees like me, for example? I'm a Buddhist, right? If you notice um, in my videos, a lot of times I, you, if you haven't noticed, you see that little statue right there. It's a Buddhist statue, right? Uh, I try to stick it in there. Now uh, I'm not a Buddhist. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a, 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 a Muslim. I'm, I'm but again, if there was a stadium full of people, right, and all the religions were sitting in different sections, I would probably, probably go stick, uh, go sit with the with the Buddhists, right? because of the the meditation, the teachings of the Buddha. But that's for me. That's not. That's neither here nor there, right? And the fact that they're they're vegan and you know well, they're supposed to be anyway. So. So the Constitution, right, is it, okay, so let's, let's talk about a specific employee, right? Uh, here's a, here's a ca character at the SNY. His name is uh, John Little, Little Fair. I guess we could use his name. He said, he said it's okay. So John Little Fair has sent me his um, DSNY, his DS249 write-up for religious discrimination. Religious discrimination in the workplace. Oh, my God, they actually did it. They actually wrote it down. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to take a look at this. Okay, first, we've got to look at the Constitution. Which, which amendment in the Constitution guarantees our right to religion? The First Amendment. Let's read it. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or bridging the freedom of speech or of the press... So we're doing right here. Or the right of people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a reterance of grievance. All right? So that's the First Amendment. 1789 guaranteed by the con guaranteed as a free people. All right? So so here's Mr. <laughs> here's John's uh uh write-up, right? It's a DS249. Beautiful, look at that thing. Pow! Holy smokes. Signed by um, signed by somebody. Who's it signed by? Oh yeah, this guy, Joel Persier. He's an associate sanitation enforcement agent. He's a supervisor, right? So, what did he say? What did this is the this is the write up? Oh, say so, okay. So so to preface, um, they're doing snow duty, and John is a uh, is a is a practicing religious person, and he he calls in religious observance, right? And he takes his time. You're allowed to do that as a, as a city, you know, city employee. You have, can't be discriminated against for relig for religion, right? So he takes his time off, and he comes back. He gets a write up. What's the write up for? So let, let's find out. Right? What what law? What rule did he break? The first one is, 
rules and orders viol violated as follows. And the list. 1.4, employees may not be absent without authorization. AWOL. Oh, smokes. So what did he do? Let's read it. Okay, so it says, this is a complaint, complainant statement uh, acts which constitute violation. Let's read it. It says, on Sunday, February 12, 2017, Sanitation Enforcement Agent John Lilfair was scheduled to work 18 to 0200 shift at the Bronx Zone. Wow, that's late at night. That's like, okay. And then um, it's 6 p.m. to 2 in the morning, right? In the Bronx Zone during snow emergency duty. SCA Lilfair called out religious observance. The leave was granted pending, do pending documentation. The documentation SEA Little Fair provided was deemed unsatisfactory. As a result, SEA Little Fair was marked absent. And you saw AWOL. This is SEA Little Fair's 10th incident in a 12 month period. So, once a month, religious observance? I don't know. No big deal. All right, so. So what is the, the the question is like they gave him his observance but they deemed his documentation invalid. Now I've been I've been at um, DSNY where a, any little piece of literature from a church or uh, a religious something that you call your religion, right? Of whatever, right? You 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 get a letterhead and you provide it to them to the to the administration and they stick it in your file and whenever you call the religious observance that piece of paper sits in there and they, they call on it, right? So so what did he provide? Let's look at it. Pow! Here we go. And it reads, The Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Okay? You know, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to laugh because this is the man's religion and, I'm, you know, hey, who am I, to, who am I to, to argue? Religion, you know, people can believe in whatever they want to believe, right? There's men sitting in clouds and they're raising from the dead and all this shit going on, right? You know, what do I know? I don't know anything. So here's his religion, right? Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, August 3rd, 2015, okay? So it says, I am pleased to verify John Littlefair is an ordained minister of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster and recognized within our organization as a member in good standing. Wow, he's not just only a member but he's, he's a, an ordained minister in his church. Impressive. We hereby consent to the, to the minister performing ceremonies, including marriages. All right, so, and it's signed by their big boss, Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, right? Representative. That's powerful stuff. So he gave the documentation, they deemed it invalid, right? That's religious discrimination, right? Why are you... You're, you're saying, what is valid if it was a, uh, they don't have, again, they don't have a policy. It's just usually that if you hand in something, something that says that, 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 that indicates your church or your, your religious practice, that's usually good enough. But for, for, for Mr. Littlefair, it wasn't good enough. Flying Spaghetti Monster, no, no, it's not good enough. So, so let's look at, so I did some research. I said, okay, well, maybe maybe the church isn't a, a, a religion, is it? You know, what is religion? Religion is the belief in a, a supernatural being, right? It's, it's believing, believing in something supernatural, right? So <laughs> so here it is. He boiled, he boiled for your sins. Wow, he did, did he? All right. Okay. Here's another one. I went to the site. This is all from their website to see. I because I'm I'm an investigative journalist, so I have to valid. I have to verify the information that I get. Right. So right there, God? Question mark. Is he a flying monster made of spaghetti? I don't know. Maybe. The flying spaghetti monster is a being which has every perfection. Existence is a perfection. Therefore, the flying spaghetti monster exists. Damn right, right? You got their website down there. You can go check it out yourself. Venganza. Venganza.org. Check out the most logical and fastest growing religion on the planet. I might just do that. <laughs> Here's a nice one. I, again, I'm trying not to laugh because it's this is the man's religion. I'm trying to respect the man's religion. Where DSMY shit all over his religion and actually used his religion 
to 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 uh, defame him in the form of a write-up, a DS two four nine, the most severe write-up uh, uh, an individual within the uh, organization could get. So here, Darwin wrong. Join our church or burn in hell. Ooh, ooh, burn in hell. Does hell exist? I don't know. <laughs> Noodley appendage. You can see his appendage sticking out there. You see his appendage? All right. Seems about, whoa, look at these badasses. These people, they look, they're defending their god. There is the flying flying spaghetti monster in action. It's got spaghetti. He's got a couple of, couple of, couple of balls there, it looks like. <laughs> this guy's mean business, right? Ooh, look. Even, they even have some famous flying spaghetti monster people. I got Albert Einstein was a member, and uh, looks like Galileo. Galileo discovered the flying spaghetti monster as far back as 1620 BC. So, so there you have it, folks. This is this is uh this is some powerful stuff, man. This is religious discrimination. John Littlefair was religiously discriminated, and his First Amendment rights were 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 taken away from. So, okay. So in the court of public opinion, what do you think? I think that it's I think it's religious discrimination. I think that you you put what if this okay, let's let's go one step further. What if John Littlefair was a Christian and he was a member of, you know, a church down the corner and he came back with his his uh you know, he went on a, a retreat for three days or two days. I've done retreats. I go to retreats sometimes, you know, ten days. I sit total silence, zip my mouth, shut the hell up, Conti. And I and uh you know, and and I meditate, and that's why I'm so powerful. That's why I'm so, that's why I'm so insightful. People say, "Kanti, how do you do it? How do you do it?" It's meditation. It's the teaching of the Buddha, right? But the flying spaghetti monster, what? That's not that's not good enough, you know. So, I think we have a little, a, a clear case of religious discrimination. Thank you so much, John Littlefair, for writing in. If again any of this came this this tip came as a result of you dropping it in my box. Short happy life at gmail.com. Send it to me and we'll uh, continue to unwind uh, these sorts of things. I gotta go check out the I've, I'm, I gotta go check out the flying spaghetti monster, man. I'm gonna join. I'm gonna join. Peace out.